Hi everyone, my name is Katie and I work for the UK's leading career and education experts howtobecome.com. Welcome to my video entitled Conquering Exam Stress. And before I move on, don't forget to subscribe for a whole range of my educational and career videos. And don't forget to leave any messages, hit the like button and I hope you, this video really helps you when it comes to preparing for exams. So the student's guide to conquering exam stress. So exam stress is one of the biggest result killers around. Not only does it have a negative impact on results, but it can also hurt children's health. Physical symptoms such as headaches, nausea, and even panic attacks are all commonly related to exam stress. So what can you do to conquer exam stress? So the ugly side of exams. So let's run through a brief list of common symptoms associated with exam stress. If you've got any of these, tick them off the list. So skipping meals. Exam stress can sometimes take away your appetite. Skipping meals is an extremely common side effect. Whether you just don't feel that you have the time or you aren't hungry, it's never good to skip meals. Food helps your brain so you'll be doing yourself more harm than good in the long run. Lack of sleep. So are you suffering from a lack of sleep? Well, you aren't alone. Two thirds of students with exams on the horizon are in the same boat. Whether your nerves are keeping you up at night, you are sacrificing your sleep for a revision or your brain just won't shut off, this is one of the biggest health and result killers out there. Alcohol. Okay, so this might be a little bit extreme but statistics show that some students are turning to this out of desperation. We only need to say one thing here, which is don't. This is a really bad thing and it will affect you when it comes to preparing effectively for exams. Arguments. So one of the most common reasons that exams are so stressful is that students don't want to let their parents down. This leads to pressure, arguments and difficulty at home. Students begin to blame their parents for what they are going through. Procrastination. This is easily the most common side effect of exam stress and sometimes it doesn't even happen when you are stressed. We all procrastinate from time to time but when you are procrastinating this is a big sign that you aren't quite dealing with the pressure. And finally, loneliness. So it's worth pointing out that exam revision can be extremely lonely. Yes, it can be a group activity, but the actual learning has to be done by yourself. With this in mind, it's common for students to feel isolated from friends or family, and sometimes they might not feel that other people understand what they're going through. So exam stress, so the good news. So now we've got the negatives out of the way, let's start looking at the positives. So there are plenty of reasons to be upbeat about your exams because you can really beat the symptoms listed on the previous slides. So take taking care of yourself. So many people are surprised to learn just how much of an impact your physical well-being has on your mental capacity. This starts with exercise. So you don't need to push yourself too hard, but relaxing exercises such as yoga, taking a walk or even swimming will go a long way to freshening and strengthening your brain. So what does this do? Well, it's pretty simple really. Gentle exercise increases the blood flow to your brain and reduces physical tension. It also helps you to sleep, improves concentration levels and balances your emotional state. So planning your study. So creating a personal study plan will go a long way to achieving this. Write down key dates, areas in which you are weakest and strongest at and that you need to tackle and this will help you to prepare effectively for exams. You are what you eat. So it's true what they say, you are what you eat, and if you eat badly, then you'll perform badly. You can't expect to maximize your revision if you are eating junk food the whole time. You need to fuel yourself with the right food. So avoid junk food, and don't take the classic student approach and binge on coffee. So this won't help you in the long run. So organization. So revision is so much less stressful, once you have learned to organise your materials. The less organised you are, the more stressed you'll be. 
is you'll spend most of the time trying to wing an impossible schedule and find your learning materials as you will actually be revising. So taking breaks. So are you exhausted? Then you're working too hard. So take a break and make time for yourself. Individual study sessions have a ceiling and once you reach that ceiling, the only way is down. Don't overwork yourself and don't let re revision be the boss of you. Okay, so that completes this brief video for conquering exam stress. Hopefully I've given you some top tips of what to look out for and how to improve your revision and preparing for your exams. Don't forget to check out howtobecome.com because there's some fantastic resources for you and there are lots of online free resources for you to use. So make sure that you check those out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more free educational content. And don't forget to drop me a message if you have any questions or if you would like a video in particular and I would be happy to do that for you. Thank you very much and I wish you the very best of luck in your exams.